Now let's say you want to create a Node.js uh, server, very simple server to test whether it's working or not. So go to any folder where you want to create your uh, file. So I'm going to create my file in documents here and let me create a new folder with the name uh, test for example, right? So generally when you write Node.js code, you use some kind of IDE or editor, for example, Visual Studio Code or uh, Atom Editor or any other uh, IDE which uh, is uh, specifically made for Node.js uh, code. But for now, uh, let's say if you don't have anything, then also you can test uh, Node.js application. So go to the folder and then right click and create a text file. So I'm going to create a new text file here. And right now I can see that there is no extension uh, visible for this file. So here you can just click on this view option and then click on show and then click on file extensions which is going to show you the file extension. Right now it's a txt file. Let me just uh, rename it. For example, test and the extension I want to go give here is .js file. So test.js and then click on yes here, which is going to create this JavaScript file. And then you can open this file using any editor. I'm going to open this with, uh, let's say notepad and then click on OK. And then I'm going to just uh, copy the very simple Node.js code, which is even available on the Node.js.org uh, website. This is the simple uh, server which you can create uh, in Node.js. So I'm going to just copy this code and then paste it here and then save it and then close this file. So once your JavaScript file is created, just copy this path and then you can open the command prompt or PowerShell or any uh, other tool. So I'm going to open the command prompt here and then I'm going to CD inside this folder. So CD and the path you have uh, copied, just paste it there and then press enter. And here you can just write node and the name of your file. So my uh, file name is test.js. I'm going to provide that and then press enter and it's going to uh, start the node.js server because what this code is doing inside this JavaScript file is it's just uh, creating a very simple node.js server and it's running it on port 3000, right? So when you open this URL, which is essentially localhost uh, at port 3000. So let me just go to the browser, open this uh, URL it's going to show me hello world here, okay? So our Node.js uh, is working fine. And uh, now you can start using Node.js on your Windows 11 operating system. So this is how you can download and install Node.js on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.